Hello, hello, hello! What's up tonight, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome! What's up, everyone, this fine evening? I hope you had a wonderful weekend! Oh man, I'm hyped! We're getting to play a deck that I've wanted to play for a really, really long time, even before it was a deck. As soon as Unesh was spoiled, or Arcane Adaption was spoiled, rather. I wanted to play an Unesh deck with it, because it just looks so janky and so cool. So we're going to Factor Fiction like crazy tonight. The idea of this deck, as janky as it sounds, we are an Unesh Ky Cryro Sphinx Sovereign deck. We're just going to go with Unesh, so I don't have to say the rest of it over and over. Six mana, you get a 4-4. Four, four. Has flying, your Sphinx spells cost two less. This is like a tongue twister of a magic card. Cost two less to cast. And then whenever a Sphinx or Unesh enters a battlefield, you get this little mini factor vision. So the idea of this deck is, since there aren't many good Sphinxes in standard, we are going to play Arcane Adaption on Sphinx and then everything's a Sphinx. Everything's cheaper. Everything's factor fictioning. So for example, we play a Weapon Craft Enthusiast for one mana. We fabricate, make two servos. We're going to get three mini factor fiction so dig 12 cards deep probably get like six cards in our hand for a single mana it is so absurd same with like marionette master we can make the servos we get four of the mini factor fictions we have scarab god because it's just really good but the combo itself at the end was you can play all your metallic mimics for free so you since you get the two mana discount from unesh so if you get all four metallic mimics out as you're playing all this stuff in one turn then every walking ballista you cast for free it's negative two for Unash, so that's one counter. Then you get a free counter for each Metallic Mimic, so that's five counters for zero mana. So then you just play Ballista, 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 Ballista. That actually adds up to 20 points of damage in that scenario if you play all your Ballistas. I don't know what to expect. This is one of those decks that I could definitely imagine going 05, and I could definitely imagine it going 5 -0. I don't think there's any middle ground with this deck. I think it's either going to be absolutely spectacular or or it's going to be absolutely horrible. <laughs> so hopefully it's absolutely spectacular. I guess we'll do a competitive league. I mean, nothing says <laughs> competitive like Unesh Cairo Sphinx Sovereign. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. 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 Oh, God. Oh, he draws Swamp. So play the Swamp. Play Scarab God. I guess we can just steal our opponent's tender shoot. What is going on? Is this a real deck? I haven't played as much standard lately as I should have. Is this like the hot new thing in standard? And and you just lose to tender shoot dryads? All right. Sapperling Wars. <laughs> oh, standard. Standard is insane. Opponent. Gonna start planner bridging. I don't know what horrible thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this matchup just keeps getting more and more ridiculous. Okay. Now we can't attack with our Unesh. Oh, good God. Opponent gets a 5-5. Five, five. What, is, what is going on? All right. Triggers everywhere. So opponent gets a Sapperling. We get to Scry with Scarab God. Forest to the bottom. We really just want our Arcane Adaptation. Swamp. We can't win here, right? We can play Marionette Master. I guess we put counters on it. Play Spire Bluff. This means our opponent can't really attack us. Should we be attacking them? I guess we should be attacking them. Because if they block and kill our stuff, then they get drained with Marionette Master. So attack with all of our artifacts. Do we win here? We might just win. Opponent takes it. Down to four. <laughs> ah, just how we drew it up. Fatal push her own servo. <laughs> <laughs> this matchup this is <laughs> this is absurd all right scry with treasure map come on unesh drown catacombs to the bottom flip map unesh renegade map i'll play ether hub get an energy play renegade map pass the turn we're not gonna play anything we want to get unesh we want to unesh all right, come on, Unesh. We do get an extra draw. <gasps> it's Unesh! Oh my god, it's time. It's time. The time has come, my friends. <laughs> Crack Renegade map. Oh, come on, no counters. No counters. Grab an island. Play the island. Cast Unesh. 
Yes. Resolves. Oh, boy. Oh, we're doing it. <laughs> Combo. It's a combo. Oh, we get another weapon craft. We're going to go through our whole deck. We're going to go through our whole deck. We just got to make sure we don't mill ourselves out. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, we will take weapon craft. We will play weapon craft. <laughs> oh, the dream. The dream. So we get to factor fiction. <laughs> uh, we'll take this pile. We get some servos. To let us factor fiction. We'll make servos. We will factor fiction. <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. I can't believe it's actually working. Uh, I guess the pile that has metallic rebuke is better. And then we will factor fiction. We get to play all the metallic mimics for free? This deck? Oh, we will, we will choose pile one. Two metallic mimics. Play, I think, a metallic mimic for free. <laughs> we'll set it on Sphinx. Yup. We gotta be careful. Uh, take Metallic Mimic. Down to 21 cards. Should we stop? Play Metallic Mimic. There's no stopping. There's no stopping on Sphinx. <laughs> we just go through our entire deck. Play Metallic Mimic. <laughs> All four on Sphinx. This one comes in as a 5-4. We can't stop now. Can't stop, don't stop. We got the counter for the Fumigate. Oh, Pona scoops it up! <laughs> yes, we won the Spice Mirror. All right. Well, the 05 Dream is dead. Right off the bat, 05 Dream, over with. That was pretty awesome. Our opponent was playing a crazy brew, but our deck did what it was trying to do. Look at this. This is standard. <laughs> we are off to a pretty awesome start. And we got Fatal Push for backup and Treasure Map to start scrying. I think there's a shot that we're going to go to 2-0 with this crazy deck. Oh, man. Strom's Expertise. Okay. Play into our Golden Demise. Thrashing Brontodon. Okay. Do they have a way to stop this Golden Demise? Or do we just absolutely demise our opponent here? Is this just the greatest Golden Demise in the history of, of mankind? Yeah. I mean, Golden Demise you. Please. And thank you. Good game. Well played. Well, let's do some attacking. Get in. That was a pretty good golden demise. Opponent blocks. We gain a bit of life. Play treasure map. If we find... Oh, okay. Uh, that's Scarab God. Play Ether Hub. Now I think we're suddenly pretty favored to win this game. Pass the turn. All right, opponent's going to cast out our Scarab God. Ugh. Okay. Yup. Fair. We do got a not time out. I'm a little nervous about that. Scry with treasure map. We just need an unesh. Oh my god, golden demise. Okay. Put on top. Fatal push Brontodon. Put our opponent to the test. Do they kill our arcane adaptation or do they kill our treasure map? Goes with treasure map. Not worried about getting blown out. We drain our opponent. Yup, down to 14. Untap, Golden Demise, attack with everything, close out the game, three minutes to go, no timeouts, no timeouts. Uh, if we ever find Unesh, game over, hit our opponent, down to nine, pass the turn. Come on, come on, Dak, you could do it, you could do it. Desperation Cycle, yup, plays a land, sure. Opponent passing, come on, Unesh, come on, Unesh. We draw, Na oh, oh, Naturalize is absurdly good here. Go attacking. Naturalize is so good. We kill the cast out, get back Scarab God, get back Thrashing Brontodon. Pass the turn. Opponent's down to four, and I think we did it. I think we did it. Sure, make your 1-1. One, one. We can deal with that. Opponent. Branch Walker. Yup. Opponent cycles. Opponent. Uh, okay, Srob's expertise. And appeal. All right, pumps the life linker. Now our opponent, I think, is just trying to get us to time out, honestly. Goes attacking. Yep. Gain six. Uh, yep. Sure. Well, we will naturalize cast out. Get back Scarab God. Scoop. Scoop time before we time out. Oh, this game has went so long. We really got to not lose here. All right, we get Scarab God. We activate Scarab God. 
We get back thrashing Brontodon. Not many creatures in the graveyard, but still good. Brontodon back. On tap, scry with Scarab God. Spire to the bottom. We draw. Uh, Field of Ruins helpful. All right, let's attack like this. Play it a little safe. Opponent blocks. Opponent blocks. Yep. Play Field of Ruin. Field of Ruin, the Adanto. Opponent, probably just going to gain a bunch of life with the Vampire and go for the timeout. Yeah, pumps a life linker, sure. Oh, come on, no timeouts, no timeouts. Okay, opponent's going to pump again. I think they're really just trying to gain as much life as possible and hope that we time out. Pumps again, sure. But then this lets us get back Marionette Master, which is bad for our opponent. Goes attacking, so we block with Marionette Master. Reanimate Marionette Master. I think this should do it. Get back Marionette Master. Make servos. It's already a 4-4. We get to scry. Treasure map bottom. Now I just think we want removal. I don't think we can unash. I don't. We don't have enough time to unash. Ugh. Bottom, bottom. Sorry, unash. I love you, but we don't have time for you. We only got 50 seconds. Double scry. Negate bottom. Ballista top. That's what we wanted. Draw ballista. That should do it. Ballista with a bunch of counters. All right. We got there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was close. Big walking ballista. Just get through our triggers. And that should be game. Wow! Right up against the clock. I think it's less trigger intensive to just kill our opponent's stuff. And we don't want to time out accidentally. Scry with contraband. Remove a counter. Kill the servo. Kill branch walker. All right. Now we're good. Go attacking. Oh, 30 seconds on the clock. Get in with everything. It should just be lethal, I think. And we can't kill our servos if it's not. Oh, we got there. 2-0, and 2-0. Oh, oh. <laughs> this deck, it's working. I don't know how or why, but it is. Are we going to feed the children with this crazy Sphinx deck? <laughs> It might be happening. CTH new 3333. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Sacrifice Drain 14. Sacrifice Drain 10. Oh man, we're going to end up just short. Sacrifice Drain 6. We can keep one artifact to ultimate Tezzeret. All right. All right, we'll keep one for Tez ultimate. Opponent's down to eight. We draw. Ooh. Well, ultimate Tezzeret. Emblem. Go to combat. Yep, make it a creature. Get in. Put our opponent down to three. That's fine. Opponent fatal pushes, but we follow up with oh, so many options. I think Tezzeret is most important, actually. Yeah, play a Tezzeret. Keep making artifacts. We want to keep the artifacts to keep Tezzeret going. Torrential Gear Hulk for Veraska's Contempt. Okay. Okay, okay. Yup. Well, it's not over yet. We do get to Unash, and it should resolve. Opponents back up to 10. Well, play Unash. Factor Fiction. Ugh. That's one of the worst Factor Fictions we've ever had. I mean, I guess we get a Veraska's Contempt? Play Spire, make our cell into a 5-5, five, five, pass the turn. Opponent, passing. Uh, all right, we draw Adaptation. Let's get in with our Sphinx. Yes, it's a 5-5. Five, five. We get it, Tezzeret, we get it. So hit our opponent with our Sphinx. Opponent takes it. Play Arcane Adaptation. Wow, for Glimmer? Oh, goodness. Pona does not know what's happening. They don't understand. They don't understand the peril that they're in. They don't understand. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, opponent. Oh, boy. You are going to regret that choice, opponent. Now you might literally be dead. Okay. Uh, we will play a Sphinx Scarab God for three mana. There's Mimic. We found a Mimic. We found a Mimic. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Sure. Oh, our opponent does not get it. We take Metallic Mimic. We will cast Metallic Mimic on Sphinx. Come on. Give us a hit. Give us a hit. Keep it going. Another Mimic and a Ballista. Oh, we got him. We got him. <laughs> opponent just... I can't blame him for not knowing this deck. But 
Oh, give us that. Oh, my God, they gave us the right bio. Yes. Uh, we will play a free mimic. <laughs> oh, it's a, <laughs> on Sphinx. And we will, I think, factor fiction. Oh, that was a bad one. That was a really bad one. Oh, uh, maybe we don't win this turn. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can't go lethal with one. We just need to hit one more ballista. All right. Well, we got another mimic, which is fine. Opponent's figuring it out. This time they're putting Mimic by itself. We'll take the Mimic. Oh, the combo. We will name Mimic on Sphinx. Oh, the fizzle. The fizzle. We fizzled. Well, we'll take Metallic Rebuke. Oh, the fizzle. Actually, play Drown Catacombs. This is enters the battlefield, right? Yeah, all right. So we didn't fizzle. We still get to keep going. We get to use our Ethereum Cell Mana to Scarab God back weapon craft enthusiast and this should find us walking ballista and close and our pulse scoops it up <laughs> oh my goodness yes yes oh wow the deck it's so cool when it goes off out of nowhere wow this deck is working it is it's actually working we play decks that seem like they're good, and the kids don't eat. Then we play Arcane Unash, and the kids are the kids are eating already. Oh man, if we lose here, I'm gonna lose it. Opponent duresses. Okay, are we gonna lose to Jade Guardian? I mean, we should still win next turn because we'll find another Marionette Master and more Walking Ballistas. Takes Tezzeret. Opponent's gonna get in for five. Opponent gets in. Yep. Gain some life. Down to 10. I think we're still okay. Opponent passes. We draw. Ballista. Okay. That's very important. Play Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Do some factor fictioning. I think we can set up the win. I think we can do it. Uh, we'll take the bigger pile. We will make servos. Ugh. Nothing. If we find another Marionette Master, then I think we just win. Eh, we'll take the big pile. Ugh. No Marionette Master. Take the Fatal Push Pile. Down to 20 cards. We can Scarab God and get stuff back? How do we just close out this game? So we attack with everything. We hit for 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then this is 4. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19... 20, 21, two. okay, I think, we, I think we should have it. So go to combat, attack, 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 attack with everything. All right, I think this works. Hit our opponent. Opponent takes it. Walking Ballista X3. Yep. Factor Fiction. We're going to get the 4-1. We're going to do it. We did it. I think we did it. I think this is it. Uh, sure, we'll take whatever. Then we ping a servo. And we got the GG's! We did it! We did it! We got the... <laughs> we got the... We got the 4 one! The kids are eating thanks to Arcane Unash of all decks. Drain our opponent down to 12. Drain our opponent down to 8. And we did it! We did it! Opponent says the deck is hilarious. And... That should be the game, boys and girls. The ping, the drain, and we got there. Four and one with Arcana Nash. <laughs> uh, we play real decks and we lose. We play Arcana Nash and we're getting QPs and treasure chests and play points. The odds of that <laughs> seem so ridiculously low. Oh, my Lord. So the deck, it, it worked. It worked. We lost one match uh, against the blue-red God Pharaoh's gift deck, but we played a lot of real decks in Standard, and we actually beat a lot of real decks in Standard. Uh, somehow, somehow, I don't know how. So let's see if our good running continues. Come on, let's do it. Chest number one, we get... Ugh. Send a card research. Good commander card. Not a good treasure chest card. I do like me some Arbor Backstomper. All right. Well, seven more to go. Lots of kids feeding tonight. Oh, oh, we got it. We got it, Liliana. Liliana, it's got... Oh, it's like the most expensive card. It's like the most expensive card. Oh, my Lord. 
60 ticks, 60 ticks, 60 ticks, not bad, not bad. <laughs> uh, also, a Bugzer's weirding, but we can't complain because that's a Liliana of the Veil to go along with our Arcane Unesh win. Yes, the kids are feasting tonight. They're not going to have to eat for a week. All right, six more to go. Come on, more good stuff, more good stuff. Ten play points, Threshing Bastodon, playable. Would be a good uh, a good open in Arena, since you can't just buy this for one cent. You need to open it. Play points are fine, and we got a Liliana, so we can't really complain. 40 play points? That's actually like $4 worth of play points. Well, halfway through our treasure jazz, we are killing it. We are killing it. Vampire Nocturnus. I love this card. I don't think it's worth much, but probably after we do another budget magic with it, <laughs> it will be. Vampire Nocturnus is... How much? Anything? Eh, about $1. Also a River Kelpie. This could be a fun against the odds card. So many cards drawn. And my Asmic Mummy. All right. Three more to go. One more Liliana, please. Ten play points. And Jank. Two more. Two more to go. Come on. Come on, Chess. Marrow. Mark Rosewater himself. <laughs> Foil 8th edition. Well, last one. Last chance for glory. Come on. One more sweetness. Hoarding Dragon. Compelling argument. Ice over. Well, we cannot complain. We cannot complain. We went four and one with Arcade on Ash, and we opened a Liliana Veil of the Veil on top of some play points. Whoo! Well, that was a good one, boys and girls. That was a good one. Uh, vintage pack in celebration. Uh, all right, one vintage pack. Oh, this is this is a horrible idea. We should not be opening these. Uh. Do it, do it, do it. It's a lucky day. We need a Black Lotus. All right. One. Only one. And Strip Mine. Dun, dun, dun. I love Strip Mine, but Strip Mine, not feeding the children. It is good for uh, sticking it to Tomer, though. Uh, we broke the cardinal rule. <laughs> Never open packs. Treasure chests, okay. Packs, no, 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 no. Never open packs. All right. Well, we got a Battle Screech. If it was paper, it'd be worth money. Reminders on the way out the door. First off, replay YouTube. If you want to relive the glory of Arcane Unesh or any of the old streams, check that out. Normal YouTube, that's where you'll find Soren Tribal. If you were here for Soren Tribal, thanks to the mistweet, don't worry, it's coming for Against the Odds tomorrow, and it's actually super sweet. So keep an eye out for that tomorrow night. Merch page with tokens and t-shirts and playmats. Of course, a shout out to the sponsor of tonight's stream, which is Ridge Wallet. If you're looking for a slim front pocket wallet made out of carbon fiber or titanium, give them a check out over at RidgeWallet.com. Use the cold goldfish, 10% off, and you also get free shipping. So pretty sweet wallets. Anyway, everyone, I think that brings us to the end for the night. So thank you so much to everyone who donated. So many donations tonight. So many subs tonight. You're amazing. Thank you to everyone who just hung out. It was just a super, super fun stream. So we will be back on Thursday with another one. Anyway, everyone, I love you all. You were amazing. Have a wonderful Wednesday tomorrow, a great night tonight, and we'll be back on Thursday with another one. Thanks again. See you then. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.